podcast. Do a little talking here. What's going on? Me and uh, Kahari from Punk Life. Entertainment at the San Antonio event. No, at the Carver Library. Frank in the show. The organizer, the chief. The queen she is the least humble person I've ever heard. Run away, run away, run away, my sweet. I don't know you know. Like she'll always step out and get oh, all the attention. Humble. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> don't listen to the guy. And I have to sign it. Oh, no, no. That's why oh, always oh, attention on my schedule. <laughs> 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 to be part of you. I'm in here. I was excited. I'm excited. You know, I'm excited about the conversations that are happening. I'm really excited about all the amazing boards. We have Veronica Lino, just is an amazing fitness, inspirational woman. So she has fitness programming for couples, for women. It's just awesome. Um, mm. Fernando Robert is amazing. He's with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and he is an amazing mentor and amazing advocate for their programming and the value of mentoring. Like, it really can really help kids to just have somebody there day in, day out, they can call, they can connect with, and it's awesome. Do you think I should be and a Big Brother? Shady. Shady. You guys both took too long. You know, Even Kahari paused on be a big <laughs> And teach them about the grind. <laughs> right? Entrepreneurship. It's true. Yeah, each one, each one here. Okay. And it's such an amazing program. And literacy is just something that needs a lot of attention in San Antonio. And they provide great programming so that you can um, have some great service. They have um, diploma and GED and ESL classes Whoa. and classes to help you with literacy if you need help with reading and improving nice. on those things. Reading is important. It's not easy for everybody, you know? It's actually one of the hardest. I, it's, it's a hard thing to learn how to, like, read and comprehend what you're reading. It's, 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 it's um, something that people can be really embarrassed about, too. And that's the whole thing. We want to take the stigma away and help people really... Um, just take the time to learn a skill that maybe they didn't get a chance to learn when they were younger. Well, yeah. So it's so no shame. Be proud. Be, 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 be proud. proud, be proud. Be proud of your ability not to read. Be like, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. We're not. Well, don't be proud. We're not going to be unproud or proud. We're just going to be proud. Yeah. Okay. This is real. <laughs> be proud. Be egotistical about your ability not to read. We have a here. Oh, yeah. Good. She's like the most creative person. <laughs> Ooh, Nina Sandra, she's always leveled up. She's always been yeah. super creative. I don't even know when. She just busts out with something new out of nowhere. And one day I'm going to have to get. Oh, no, it's all fun. She's right there. She has a whole table. Oh, there's another one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did we see the guy who smiled from the door? Photography that highlights the beauty in San Antonio and two students at North Pacific College um, took some pictures. How did you meet them? We have um, one of our organizers knows a professor at North Pacific College. Shout out to Mimi Duvall. And she got her students to take some pictures and support our event. Awesome. So cool. All right, guys. Well, this is the event. I'm glad I get to do this. I don't know where this video is going. Okay. Um, bye, Frankie. Camera. <laughs> Mr. Cop. Mr. Cop. Who wants a uh, sandwich? This is super, super healthy. Only the healthiest. <laughs> oh, well, the beautiful. I get this. This and stuff. I feel like I need to figure out where I want to go with it as far as, like, uh, what I think it's for. <laughs> At this point, I just, like... super funny what's up guys it's kenyo here really quick um i got k Prezi, kevin prince um let me see if i can show oh no that just shows your phone number i can't show them the screen but um editing um uh, no we we me and kevin we were just talking about the monique situation a little bit let's get some final things kevin do you think monique deserved donkey of the day I think that, um, I think I have to, I can't fully say, like, yes, based on the fact that I haven't seen that full video, 
based on what the video is about. Oh, no, no. They gave her... Oh, wait. You haven't seen the video that she did? As far as the Breakfast Club one. Oh, no. She got... She got Donkey of the Day... Yeah, she got Donkey of the Day before that. That's why she came on the Breakfast Club. She got Donkey of the Day because of her thing saying that we should boycott Netflix. Yeah, I think she deserves Donkey of the Day for that. Sit down. Monique, you got it. There's two more Donkey of the Days that that you've been given. Because I also think you deserve uh, um, Jack Rabbit of the Day. I'm coming up with my own. <laughs> and let me just say this for the record: this mm. has nothing to do with anything as far as being sexist or whatever things like that. As far as her original statement mm. and why she got Donkey of the Day and why she was on The Breakfast Club, I think that, you know, her original statement or what she was saying, yeah. like, I don't... And everyone's entitled... She's entitled to feel that way. Hell, like, I, so was... I, oh, I yeah, of course. Here saying, well, you know, I'm worth f***ing several... I'm priceless, my f***er. Like, you can't even <laughs> put, you know, a price on me like you know like if you can you know think highly of yourself or and things like that i think when you try to compare yourself to other people that's where it starts getting like you know like sit down because Mm -hmm. then we're going to start comparing worth ethic and it's just all like oh pound for pound do you you know compared to these people who are making this so if you're not even doing a minimal mm. of what they're doing like why do you think like you deserve that about you know so that that's what yeah. it is facts and i i agree the idea that um i mean one don't compare yourself to anyone else because maybe they just got lucky and then um, number two, your attitude is just completely incorrect. Um, there's no humility there. Um, you're not that important. Um, sorry, nobody is. And if anyone thinks I'm racist because of this, I don't even have to have. I don't. I don't have time to explain why it's impossible for me to be racist. Uh, <laughs> I'm not racist. Uh, I am inherently probably a little bit sexist or something like that. Um, but not in this situation. Monique, uh, um, I hope you come on my show also. Come on my weekly Kenya. Give me a call. We'll talk about it. I think you just need some, some good perspective in your life. When you get famous, things get all turned upside down. And, um, I hope you get some publicity out of this, but you're definitely donkey of the day. No one's boycotting Netflix with you. I just enjoyed a great series on Netflix. Um, (laughs) <laughs> from Japan that I'm currently watching in, no, it's actually from China. It's in Chinese called Tianxin Mystic. Kevin, you should watch it. You love stuff like that. Anyway, it's very cool. It's called Tianxin Mystic. T-I-E-N-T-S-I-N Mystic. And it's this uh, Chinese show about this detective who teams up with this, um, no, actually, he's not really a detective. He's a rich kid who becomes a temporary detective, and then he's teaming up with this kid who works on a salvage team who's, like, diving underwater. And, um, who, anyway, so, the idea is that kid practices, like, a lot of, like, mystical stuff to figure out why people, to solve these cases. And the other guy uses a lot of science because he studied, like, forensic science. And it's based in the past. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is Netflix has way more offer to me, uh, to offer to me than Monique um, ever could. And I listen to some of your stand up, and it's foul. Okay, it's it's funny. I get it. Um, and I think I love what you're doing for big women too, because honestly, uh, anyone who knows for sure knows that big women have at least as much, at least as much to offer as larger women do. I mean, skinnier women do. But Monique, you've become donkey of the day, and you're also jackrabbit of the day. Um, Anyway, also, if you want to get more from me and Kevin, expansion tour video just dropped. Uh, There might be a clip in this video. I don't know. And then I have my book, my new, I'm doing 12 books in 12 months, and the newest one come, came, is done today, and it's available online, and I have a new bundle deal where if you buy all nine books, which is only $45 for nine books, people, the books are 10 bucks each, so you're basically getting half off, but if you buy all nine books, um, ships out March 1st, and you get all nine books, 
ahead of the time where the other two are released because there's only seven out officially as of today and the seventh one came out today it's called sunset so if you want to read my poetry book called sunset i'm going to be sharing some poems from it um and i hope you check it out you know i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna read a poem from it right now because i think this poem applies to monique a little bit this is once again a poem from my new book of poetry called sunset this is called woke some of the sleepiest dreamers nod then gasp i'm woke when the dreamers grabbing dreams come through as if two dreams could ever touch as though our inner heaven weren't protected deep in our souls and our destiny and our destiny only slowly released to the world now is only two grains of sand passing through the subjective hourglass but past and future are bare and hidden and lost and made in what dimensions must we walk to affect men's destinies that's that poem woke from my new book sunset um and uh it applies to monique because she's trying to act super woke right now just because someone disturbed her life you're not woke monique just because you have a personal objective all right cut it out you're disgracing the era of black panther all right you're not disgracing anything you're a great wonderful woman and i respect your gray hairs anyway thanks kevin for jumping on this little short video and thank you for watching after the credits of weekly kenyo I'll catch you later.